Armenia is a small landlocked country in the South Caucasus region of Eurasia, bordered by Turkey, Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Iran. The country has a rich cultural heritage and a long history that dates back to ancient times. In this article, we will explore the history of Armenia from its earliest beginnings to the present day. Early History Armenia is one of the oldest continuously inhabited regions in the world, with evidence of human presence dating back to the Paleolithic era. The first known kingdom in Armenia was the Kingdom of Urartu, which existed from the 9th to the 6th centuries BCE. The kingdom was located in the Armenian highlands and covered parts of modern-day Armenia, Turkey, and Iran. In the 6th century BCE, the Achaemenid Empire of Persia conquered Urartu and established the Satrapi province of Armenia. Over the next few centuries, Armenia was ruled by various empires, including the Seleucid Empire, the Parthian Empire, and the Roman Empire. Christianization In the early 4th century CE, Armenia became the first state to adopt Christianity as its official religion. This was due to the efforts of Saint Gregory the Illuminator, who converted King Tiridates III and his court to Christianity. The adoption of Christianity had a profound effect on Armenian culture and identity, and it remains a deeply ingrained aspect of Armenian life to this day. Medieval Armenia In the Middle Ages, Armenia was divided into several kingdoms and principalities. The most prominent of these was the Bagratid Kingdom, which existed from the 9th to the 11th centuries. The Bagratid Kingdom was known for its cultural achievements, including the creation of the Armenian alphabet in the 5th century CE. In the 11th century, the Seljuk Turks invaded Armenia and began a period of dominance by Muslim powers. The Mongol Empire conquered Armenia in the 13th century, and the region remained under Mongol rule until the 14th century. Persian and Ottoman Rule In the 16th century, Armenia came under the rule of the Safavid Empire of Persia. The Safavid Empire was Shia Muslim, and it persecuted the Armenian Christian population. Many Armenians were forced to convert to Islam, and others were killed or enslaved. In the 19th century, Armenia became part of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire was Sunni Muslim, and it also persecuted the Armenian Christian population. In 1915, the Ottoman government launched a campaign of genocide against the Armenians, resulting in the deaths of an estimated 1.5 million Armenians. Independence After the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in World War I, Armenia declared independence in 1918. However, the new state was short-lived, as it was invaded and occupied by the Soviet Union in 1920. Armenia became a republic within the Soviet Union, and it remained so until the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. Modern Armenia Following independence, Armenia faced a difficult transition to a market economy and struggled with political instability and economic hardship. In the early 1990s, Armenia was involved in a bitter conflict with neighboring Azerbaijan over the region of Nagorno-Karabakh, which had a majority Armenian population but was part of Azerbaijan. The conflict escalated into a full-scale war, which lasted from 1991 to 1994 and resulted in the deaths of thousands of people. Armenia emerged victorious, and Nagorno-Karabakh declared independence from Azerbaijan, although it is not recognized as a sovereign state by the international community. In the years since the conflict, Armenia has made significant progress in building a democratic society and market economy. However, the country faces ongoing challenges, including political. 